Time is of the essence in our next story. A family desperately searching for a souvenir with special meaning at a hospital that's about to close its doors for good. News 4 consumer reporter Linda Baccaro is here now to explain. Linda? And Tom and Sheba, the Brooklyn family hopes to preserve a symbol of pride, a plaque honoring their father placed at Long Island College Hospital. It seems a plaque is now missing and the family turned to us for help in finding it. The late Murray Yanowitz was beloved in his Brooklyn community and always loved medicine, as his daughter fondly remembers. He wanted to be a doctor when he was in college, but unfortunately they pulled him out of his first year of college when he was in there to uh, serve at World War II. After serving our country, Murray began working in hospitals, becoming chief internal auditor at Long Island College Hospital. I developed a love of the hospital and I decided to go for nursing. <laughs> then Murray passed away in 1979. It was a month before I graduated. I was taking finals and they called me at the school. They brought him to Long Island College Hospital. While he was being examined by the chief cardiologist, he, um, he went out and they couldn't bring him back, so he was only 52 when he died. Immediately, his co-workers wanted to pay tribute to his memory. And they were just going to be renovating the emergency department at Long Island College Hospital. So my mother, they set up a fund in his name. Murray was honored with a plaque placed in the hospital ER. The last time I remember seeing the plaque was when my daughter was born there, which was almost 20 years ago. Don't know why none of us thought to take a picture at the time. But I think we always thought that Long Island College Hospital was an institution. It was there forever. But no longer. The hospital is closing. And Lori's been calling, asking for the plaque. And nobody's been able to, unfortunately, find it. With time running out, Lori reached out to News 4. After I spoke to you, the um, public affairs person from Long Island College called me. She said she would absolutely let me know. And I have you know, her and the people from housekeeping with my name and number that Hopefully, maybe somebody will find something. That's the hope. Well, we call the hospital on Lori's behalf. And a spokesperson for Downstate Medical Center, which operates LICH, assured us, quote, we have great respect for the many employees and families who were part of Long Island College Hospital and will make every effort to return archival items wherever possible. If not before the facility closes, the hope is that perhaps as items are emptied out of the hospital, the plaque for Murray Yanowitz might turn up. So if you work there at the hospital, maybe keep an extra eye out for that plaque. And Lori says everyone there that she's spoken to in the last uh, couple of weeks or so has been very helpful, but uh, so far no plaque. Hopefully it'll turn up soon. And remember, like her, if you're having a problem with the product or service, get in touch with our iTeam Consumer Investigative Unit. Call us at 1-866-NEWS-244.